Well, hello everyone, it's uh, Aussie Pete here again. Um, decided to come back to the old uh, Second World War site. And as you can see, uh, it's a little bit uh, patches of rain up here in Townsville, Queensland. And you can also see around this area here, it's very overgrown again. But uh, I'm going to persevere with it. There's some cleared spots over where the camera's facing now, between me and the, uh, the road. Now I've got everything kitted up, ready to rock and roll. Got my uh, pouch with my uh, probe pointer and digger. My camelback with water. So, you know, you never have enough water when you're doing detecting. The old entrenching tool and of course, my trusty uh, Mine Lab X Terra 705. Now some people have asked me why I use these headphones. These are basically headphones from, you know, like a uh, iPod or whatever. And as they're the small connection, I actually have it into, I think it's a 3 8 into a quarter inch jack. See, so this one comes out. And with the earphones then, when I'm actually out bush and it is very, very hot and humid, I don't get uh, very itchy and sweaty around the ears because these are just normal earplugs, earphones in, in my ears. And it's, it's a lot cooler for when you're uh, detecting in hot, humid areas and when you're sweating a fair bit. But anyway, I'll get into it and I'll just see if I can find anything worthwhile. But then again, if I don't, I don't care. I'm just out here enjoying myself. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, can you see that in the center of the screen? Uh, I don't know whether it's a coin or not, because I've got a few washers around here. But I'm going to see if I can do a, a live dig and hopefully, hopefully it's a coin. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Just wait one, I'll get my digger out. Yes, look at that. It's a penny. And uh, I'll see if I can give it a, a bush clean and find out what type and the date. I won't be a tick. Well, I hope you can see that. It says 1944. It's a kangaroo penny, George VI. Anyway, it's the first well, coin find I've found for a while here, but I've been here probably an hour now, and I've got a few finds that I would deem good, you know, like an old spark plug from 1944, and uh, a few other metal finds. But yeah, it's good to get a penny again. Anyway, I'll get on to the next one. Well, I'm out detecting again. I'm uh, at a school that I have written permission to detect that. And I've been here about five minutes and got my first coin. Yep, it's a uh, it's like a 1994 $2 coin. So I've started, like I haven't been here before, well, not since before Christmas, so with a bit of luck I'll get some good coins. Anyway, I'll get back into it. Well, as you can see, I've got my second coin. It's only about a metre from where I got that $2 coin. But uh, this one was just uh, on the top, as you can see. So that's another good uh, dollar coin to uh, my collection. Now, if you haven't watched my videos before, you might be uh, thinking, why have I got a screwdriver? Well, when I've got a sh shallow target, I use the screwdriver, I just tap. Well, you, after you've pinpointed the, the coin or target, you just tap, and nine times out of 10, you'll hit the coin and then you just flip it out under the soil and you don't leave any marks there where it uh, can get you a bad name and uh, you can get uh, permission uh, refused from wherever you're detecting at. And as I stated, I have got written permission to detect at the school, so if you're going to do any detecting, make sure you get permission. Anyway, back into it. Okay, I've got a good signal here. I'm pretty sure it's a $2 coin. In fact, I know it's a $2 coin because I just moved the grass because the signal was uh, very loud and I've got the sensitivity down because I'm in a school yard and there's a lot of rubbishy targets and all that so I have the sensitivity on the uh, Xterra 705 down to about 18 
and what it does, it only goes down about four or five inches and it cuts a lot of the uh, rubbish targets out. But anyway, I've pinpointed in this area here with the, uh, the front of the coil, as you can see where the bloke's jumping up down with a mine lab, I just use that section to pinpoint from one direction, then I go from the other. And then what I do for a shallow target is I just get the old screwdriver. I'll just wait till the jet goes away. Noisy bugger. Okay, and all I do then is get the screwdriver and just tap. Okay, my coin is there. Then I just, okay, I can see it in the soil there. What I do then is just flip. Out it comes. Another $2 coin. And you've got no destruction of the area whatsoever. Okay, that's the way to do it. All right, I've got a coin down here somewhere. I'm just going to do another rough pinpoint so you can see what I mean. Okay. Okay, you can hear the the tone. Right, I do. What I do is I wiggle it up to the where I get okay the target indication. Then I go over the other side from another angle okay now I haven't seen this coin yet but I know it's there it's in this area here get the old screwdriver there we go okay oops there we go okay dollar coin right go and you can't see where I was. That's the way to do it, people. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, I've got another coin somewhere in here. I've pinpointed it. Now I'll just see using a screwdriver, see if I can find it. Okay, that's probably it there. Oops. There we go. Dollar coin. Another one to the collection. Ah, uh, well. I'll see you later. I'm going to keep going. Well, I've got a coin somewhere here. I'll just, uh... Okay, there we go. Just turn this bad boy off. Here we go. Another $2 coin. So I've got $6 out of this, uh... Sand pit in about as many minutes. Anyway, on to the next one. Well, I've just had to uh, dig a small plug here, and as you can see, I got a $2 coin. But now, because I've cut the plug, I have to replace it. So, what I've done, I've only sort of with the, uh, the digger cut a, like a three quarter moon shape. So, what it does, it leaves grass here that's still attached. So, when I do put the plug back, or the cod back, okay it won't die and as you can see you cannot see where I've been and that's how we've got to do it people and I've got another two dollars. So back into it. Well I just dug these coins as you can see them here they're all in the one pile so I got a dollar fifty in uh, oh, about an inch below the grass so that wasn't too bad. So I'm going quite well today. I don't know how much I've got. I'll stop soon and count it, but uh, I'm going pretty well. Anyway, on to the next one. Well, I've finished detecting for the afternoon. As you can see, I did pretty well. All told, I think I've got around about $46. And uh, I got some pieces of jewellery. I also got a key. It doesn't look like it had been there long. Uh, one two cent coin. I got this little heart. It's just silver plated, so, but it's still a good little item to find. And I just wish this was made out of real gold and now real diamonds, but never mind. It's a nice little find anyway. It looks like it had a clasp on the back and it's broken. But yeah, I think I uh, did pretty well. I haven't been uh, going after the decimal coins for a while because I've mainly been going to old parks and uh, basically going for the pre-decimals and the really deep targets. But when I'm at the school here, I only need to go down so far because I'm not going to dig craters. So I usually set my uh, sensitivity down and I just make sure the targets that I do dig aren't very deep and the majority of them I've just got to tap with the old screwdriver and uh, 
then you just flick them and they come straight out. I think I had to dig three plugs, so I did pretty well. But anyway, I'm going to uh, duck off home now and uh, have a cold drink. And I'll try and upload this movie tonight, but uh, basically, if I'm a bit slack in uh, commenting to your comments, please forgive me. Uh, I've got a fair bit doing going on at the moment, but uh, I'll get to you and I'll uh, leave you a comment with your comment. Anyway, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Until next time.